but I want to first tell you what emotional intelligence isn't. Nearly every time that I present on emotional intelligence, some guy comes up to me and says, so I suppose we're going to have a group hug, are we? <laughs> and I go, well, only if you organize it. There's no such thing as 100% confidence. But what some people do and what some women think is that they are supposed to be confident all the time. And it's so untrue. This so person has just heard five of your achievements. How wonderful that is. Those people within your faculty who have higher levels of emotional intelligence are more likely to cope with organizational stress, less likely to be absent from work, and more likely to have higher job satisfaction. The choice about how you react is yours, and as a leader, the choice that you make is so important. Because as a leader, you need to have a high degree of self-awareness. You need to understand what's actually happening inside of you because you're probably giving off little signals anyway and everybody else is reading them. Emotional self-management. How good are you at doing that? How good are you at managing your own emotions? Do you even know you've got any? Do you know what they are? And do you know what to do with them when they come? Well, one of the issues is that most of our society does not actually encourage us to reach our potential in emotional intelligence. Many of us will have come from families where emotions weren't even allowed. Uh, many of us are still in workplaces where emotions are still looked upon with some disapproval. So most of us have never had the chance to even reach the potential that we actually have. I really think the way have. that you walk in those shoes is fantastic. Do you really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think that's one, that's one, now let's try another. I like those pearls you're wearing. They're fake. 